um, foot slipped on, on some wet paint on the floor and my knee's gone, gone that way. And, and I heard it pop out and getting pain right up through my thigh into the hip. To get come down to my room. <laughs> well, it's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah. You've been like that, Laura, haven't you? Yeah. If I make you just put your knee in straight like that, does that start to ache yeah. a bit? Yeah. yeah. All right. You've done a good job on that. Um, we'll get a picture of it. All right, come in, mate. Thanks, Ian. Oh, no worries. <sighs> How are you, anyway? <laughs> You're better than you. What you can see here is that there's a wider gap between those two bones on your left leg than there is yeah. on your right leg. Okay. So that tells us something. And there's a little bit of wedging in this disc here. You can tell there's actual torsion in this actual bone. So here. it's twisted. Yeah, and it's also kind of shifting across a little bit as well. So these cartilages that reside in here yeah. and here, they just can't move properly. Yeah. And so what we need to do is basically return the correct biomechanics to the knee joint. In the injury, you've most likely really upset this medial meniscus. Yeah. Yeah. And you may have even split it a little bit. Yeah. But um, what we find is that if we can get the joint in the right uh, position early and we can return the biomechanics, even if there is a little tear in there, they can heal up. Yeah. 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 Great. I just want to see how much we can extend that leg. That's pretty much it, isn't it? If we can untrap that meniscus, uh, we should be able to extend that leg a lot better. In fact, it'll take a little bit of time. It might take us, say, 10 or 20 minutes and yeah. a couple of corrections, but we should get you so that you can put a lot more weight on that even today. Great. Thanks, Ian. Come up here, mate. Just stand up there, mate. Yeah, I'll take any weight on that for you. <laughs> See how this one has got this type of alignment and the calcaneus is sitting straight up to the roof and this foot is shooting off on this major angle. You can you can actually see that torsion in the tibia where it's twisted underneath the femur. It's got to kind of work this cartilage a little bit to enable me to actually get your leg to bend because at the moment it's just locked isn't it? Yeah. Because I've separated the tendons with my finger and I've moved into the back of the knee joint capsule onto the back part of the actual meniscus there and I've put the the tibia into a neutral position and I'm, I'm kind of levering it this way a little bit to open up the joint space and if we can just get the cartilage to start to shift a bit see there see how we can bring his leg up you see that so that went from locked to being able to put it in the right spot so now what I'm going to do is keep a bit of pressure where I am but move across onto the back of the tibia, the lateral part of the tibia. You might get a bit of a fright here, Paul, but don't be worried, okay, mate? Put a bit of weight on in there, Rob. Let's see. Just let your tummy muscles relax there, Paul. There you go. Good. It'd be good to show people real time what this looks like. Just slowly lower that, Paul. You'll be able to. Yeah. You'll be able to see that straight away. You've you got a little bit of torsion in that still, which you'd expect, but just straight off, you can see that lines up. Mm. Just slowly take the weight on your feet. Now, if if I'm right, that should feel a lot better. Yeah. A lot better already. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's much better. <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> Getting better by the minute, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's still been less than a minute since that adjustment. He can get his whole foot flat and he can get his weight over. Yeah, yeah no, it's so much You better. couldn't do that at all, could you? No, I couldn't have straight. <laughs> but I don't put weight on it. Yeah, no, that's much that feels much better. Oh, that's such a relief. You up for another one, mate? Yeah, go on then. We can make I'm getting, a, I'm getting um, just getting pain up through my hip, but I don't know if that's... Well, that was the pain you were telling me about before. Yeah. And the reason is because we... Oh, you couldn't see it, but we showed everybody else how the tibia was completely torsioned underneath right. your femur. Okay. And so your femur's trying to compensate, and the hip joint capsules would have just been working so hard. Oh, right, okay. I mean, that, that's a pretty good result. We could just leave it at that and can't get him back tomorrow. But I'm pretty confident that if we 
shift his tibia in a slightly different way. Um, he'll go from strength to strength. There's no way we could have done this one first because for this to work well, you need to be able to get extension in the leg. There's no way he would have been able to extend the leg enough before. This one might be a little bit uncomfortable, Paul, but don't worry if it is. There you go, beautiful. Alright mate, now stand up and walk, that'll be much better. Hello Philip. No, thank you once no again worries, and thanks for staying late.